Peace and blessings, y'all. So, first off, <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. I was like, wait a minute, Mars was conjunct Saturn, duh. Like, that makes a lot of sense why that energy in the collective reading was so powerful. Um, like this forward movement, people are also going against the grain. That 11th house energy, partnerships, friendships, other people, gains, all of that is is shifting right that's where god is doing a lot of work um i notice especially those with air energy my aquarius um those with their moon in aquarius saturn in aquarius um and i'm also hearing that saturn in aquarius transit that's happening now uh, may be something that a lot of people um are looking into or may need to look into because it's powerful y'all i'm loving the energy sending y'all so much love and light because it is not easy as well whether you know you have other placements or not okay so take it how resonates everything affects everyone um but just in different ways okay so we're gonna see what the collective energy is for you know this this energy because i was like yeah with the um i see why i feel good okay um but I, i'm picking up on north node um life purpose and destiny what it is that you y'all people moving towards they nine and they ten of cups right so let's just look and see what the holy spirit has um for the collective when it comes to this forward movement your life purpose your soul journey honey come on oh wow look at that wasn't we just talking about that ten of wands energy working hard not smart also how you go about getting to this king of pentacles energy getting to stability um having i mean your career there's a change of career some of y'all are not satisfied you've put you feel like you've put in a lot of work you're ready to give up or oh, okay wait a minute now because i am picking up that there's someone who's trying not to you're trying not to be like you're giving up or something but i'm hearing this is not for you right your your soul it's telling your intuition is telling you, you this is not getting anywhere or maybe some mindset or some codependency or something some way about trying to build or pre be i'm here and present some uh -huh, because there's a lot of falseness there's a lot of falseness and i'm here because the devil is involved someone has been investing a lot of time and energy into something that the devil is offering you versus what god has for you that's what's happening here so yes your career your finances your reputation all of that may be called into question right now some of y'all are feeling drained you're feeling like you're getting uh -huh, i'm here and feel like you're getting nowhere you feel like you're getting nowhere here with the nine of wands and the devil card okay I, i'm here to check your intention right What's going on with the devil card and the nine of wands? Yeah, y'all, that ain't nothing but the enemy, right? So there's this imprisonment here with the this mental imprison imprisonment. Someone choosing not to think outside. Okay, the now didn't I just say that Aquarius energy is all about people being in unconventional? You know, seeing something a different way outside of the box. Um, but I'm here going against the grain, but this eight of swords, this is choosing not to see something. This is, you know, a, keeping up a way of thinking. This is also by choice. I see somebody doing this by choice here with the eight of swords. Okay. And so you just allowing the enemy to be like, okay, well, shoot, I'm about to take you to the 10. Shoot, you about to be burdened, back broke, right? Because you don't want to be broke. Okay, so somebody needs to check their intentions and their mindset when it comes to money, when it comes to work, when it comes to stability. Because the enemy is having a ball with you. I'm just be, I'm, I'm keeping it real, y'all. Okay, what's going on with the Eight of Swords? Yes, look! <sighs> Disappointment here, regret, shame. Somebody is like, you feel guilty if you were to work smarter is what i'm hearing don't the, don't right spirit said take another look right it's time it's time for some adjustments it's time to take a look at how you've been doing something over time how you've been thinking or you know this mindset or again this i'm telling you mm -mm. it's some addiction as well codependency yes that's what i'm talking about Right, y'all see how powerful. If you haven't that collective reading, go check it out. Came out twice, right? The Eight of Cups here, releasing, moving forward. Also, this is when it comes to drinking as well. Some type of addiction, some type of something that just don't serve you. It's not getting you nowhere, right? Imbalance, okay? It could be work, whatever. Eight of Swords, no. 
Because it's eight, there's nine. And I mean, no. We'll take the nine of cups. We'll take the ten of cups. The nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. But do you want the ten of wands? Do you want the nine of swords and the ten of swords? Spirit said before that tower hits, right? Take another look. Take accountability here. Make a change. Implement a change. Yeah. Didn't I just say come through? Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ten of Cups, y'all, with the Four of Wands. Y'all guides, your ancestors, they're like ready for you or somebody to get up out of their head, get up out of this bind, right? And I'm hearing you can, okay? Yes. Y'all, I'm about to cry. I'm so emotional right now. I ain't even gonna lie, okay? The Two of Cups. Tell me God is not here trying to connect with you. Exactly. Didn't I say trying to connect? It's time. You see what the seven, look, from the seven to you protecting your energy, right? You not having to explain yourself about this new direction that you're taking or how you want to, you maybe take things slow and steady, right? Implement some type of routine. There's this discipline focusing on working smart, mastering one, th okay, okay. Mm. Some of y'all are mastering many things. Yep, as soon as I was about to say. Because I heard um, a jack of all trades versus a master of one. But I hear y'all being a master of many. Yeah, okay. And you got some strong Scorpio energy. Somebody here, okay, with this death card. Y'all, but this transformation. That's what this gonna do, right? You realize, that, hold on. I can, it's priority. Somebody's changing their priorities. Especially when it comes to their energy, their thoughts, right? And there's a transformation on a subconscious level. And that's when the outer world, these cycles start to change. When you get to the subconscious, when you face that, right? That's when you start to be like, hold up. You become more uh, respectful of your own energy, <laughs> okay? What's the overall message? Yes. I feel like I'm talking to a masculine emperor here, right? That can be man or woman, but I'm telling you, it's time. It's time for some boundaries because now Spirit said, let's, ta let's tap into the real Let's tap into the real emperor energy because this, this over here, this is not that. It's not, it's not that, it's not it, it's not given. So slow and steady also wins the race. Somebody's also taking on some type of study. Steady, priorities, time management here, money, all of that is changing. And look what's on the other side. So how you go about it? How you going about trying to achieve some type of status, some type of accomplishment, stability, success, this foundation, the structure. Spirit is trying to get up in this mix because the devil has been in the mix for a while now. It's been a cycle, an ongoing cycle. I'm hearing years for somebody, whether it's a mindset, an addiction, whatever. Okay, so y'all, I appreciate the harsh truths that Spirit be having. I do. I really do. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah, chat. Did I say? Yeah, I love y'all. Okay, change. You seen that death card? It's a rebirth happening here. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Because somebody ain't moving. It's it's like you being in your head about something. There's this fear. There's regret. Okay, yeah. There's Somebody's in their head because there, there's too much fear about moving forward. Or if there's been so much damage done. There's guilt. There's regret here. The Spirit said, it's time to transform how you go about doing things. Okay, because you're not doing anything. Somebody's in their head, but you ain't doing nothing. Right? It's causing someone to be stagnant. And that's what the devil wants you to do. Right? Be stagnant. Be in this low energy. Be unproductive. Not go towards this change. Not realize that, you know what? I, that's all I had to do. I'm just like, yes. And your guys are wanting y'all to tap into this too. Okay? And surrender to this. One more. That, there's a reason. They're in a fell out on top of it, right? There's a reason, y'all. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. I love y'all. Oh, this is amazing. Let's see. Because this astrological energy is strong. We're going to do a fixed sign reading. I feel like futuring. Yeah, a futuring. Futuring Libra. Okay. Because the. Oh, and a cardinal. So we just going to flow with it. Because it's so many. Mm -hmm. Hold your vision. Didn't I just say fixed signs? Y'all. Hold your vision. 
Because I'm picking up on the Scorp this Scorpio Taurus season coming up with the eclipse along with this lunar eclipse in Scorpio, right? But then you got Aquarius energy, Leo energy, so strong, y'all. Mm, one more. I love that this came out. Spirit said too. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon and Capricorn. I spoke on this. Okay. And that last reading. That collective reading. Don't let pride get in your way. There you go. I told you about these fix in this cardinal. So Capricorn and this Leo. Right. Don't let pride get in your way y'all. Yeah. Nothing will come of the situation. Nothing will come of the situation of you trying to. I'm here choosing to be in denial, lying to yourself. Someone's being narrow minded. Someone is choosing not to, you know, expand or, or grow. I'm here and grow, especially when it comes to knowledge. It's just like ignorance is bliss, but it ain't going to be bliss for too long. Right. It's not. Oh, it's not because I'm picking up this ignorance. It's become because it's willful ignorance. That's what I'm getting. Willful ignorance is becoming someone's, you know, detriment. Uh, yeah. Mm -mm. So spirit is trying to swoop on in through like, no, it's time for a transformation, right? It's time to go through this dark night of the soul and to work and to reprioritize. It's time, right? Okay, so that's the reading, y'all. I love y'all. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so please take care of yourselves. I appreciate y'all so much for the support, the love, the donations as well, right? Ramadan Mubarak to those who are observing. And again, if you would like a personal, that information is down below. The live readings because of my availability and everything are going to be limited for this month, but I will still be doing pre-recorded readings and connecting with my loyals, my moderators. I appreciate y'all so much. Okay, so please take care of you all. Bye.